Hello everyone! Today we are going to learn how to set up dynamic pricing and discounts using EA Pricing. Let's not lose time and just dive into it. But before moving on, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, put your thumbs up and leave your comments or concerns down below. So this is our WordPress admins dashboard and we've already installed and activated the pro version of the plugin EA Pricing. And if you still have not, then you can go here, plugins, add new, activate it. Afterwards, you can find it here in WooCommerce and you can see EA Pricing. Uh, once you click on it, its user-friendly dashboard will appear on your screen. And here you can see five main sections three of which are the main tools that EA Pricing offers. And now let's explore these tools separately. Our first tool is Product Pricing. And when we click here, add your first rule, we can see eight options uh, of the campaign available, one of which is your own campaign, uh, where you can design and edit your stuff uh, independently and not based on these templates. Uh, so one of the uh, options is buy free, get one free, or buy X, get X, or buy X, get Y. Uh, let's choose this uh, buy free, get one free, and see what can we do with this option. Uh, so uh, here is our main dashboard. And here we can see that in this name section, we can uh, edit our name and give a, a name to our rule and campaign so that it is easier for us to uh, track these campaigns, which one, for example, we are running at this point or which ones are stopped. Uh, so let's uh, change this to two. And then in this rule type, it is important to choose the same product because this campaign is applying to the same product. We will get back to this quite soon. Uh, and here we can uh, already add it uh, and add some interesting stuff. Uh, for example, uh, how many of them they can get free. For example, our option is buy two, get one free. So uh, here we are changing it to one. And here we are choosing free, not discount. And uh, when buy, in this case, we change it to two. And then here uh, in this part, you can uh, choose uh, to apply any or all of these uh, filters and then make your changes according to that. After clicking on save, now we can add a new rule in this same section. Click on add rule and we can again see the same options uh, available. Let's choose by X get Y. And here again, we can make our uh, changes and it is pretty flexible. Uh, in this same section, let's change this and write free. So by X get Y free. In this rule type, see that it is now by X get Y. So we are making sure that uh, this is on this type and then moving on. Uh, so item get type, we uh, click on free because that's our rule. Uh, but if you click on discount, you will see new uh, lines appear here. If you click on free, then you can make uh, the rest of the uh, changes here. Uh, for example, how many of the products your client should buy to get one cap uh, for free. So I'm buying two t-shirts. And here we can see that I got one t-shirt for free. Our next tool is cart discount, which means that you can offer flexible discounts uh, your, to your customers based on their order number or uh, cart subtotal quantity. So in this uh, section, we can again see at your first rule here, we can see four options of campaigns available. Let's this time choose your own campaign and see what we can do within this tool. Uh, in this name section, I want to create a rule uh, like this. So give uh, $10 if a customer places an order for the first time. Uh, so in this discount type, we are choosing fixed discount and we are setting 10 here. Uh, then we are going to conditions and uh, adding a new condition. In this part, we can see how many options are available and how flexible this tool is. And we are in this case choosing customer order count and it's less than and we are typing here one so in case my customer order count is less than one then our customer gets ten dollars and now let's try out this condition we are again going to our website store and doing our first purchase 
So I'm buying a t-shirt, add to cart, and then proceed to checkout. So when we proceed to checkout to uh, insert the billing and shipping details and information, here we can see give $10 if a customer places an order for the first time. And since I'm placing my order for the first time, it gives a $10 off. With this section, we can monitor our checkout fees based on our customer's uh, card subtotal price. Uh, so when we click add your first rule, we can see uh, free shipping, reduced 50% shipping fee for order below uh, uh, 100 euros or uh, this other option. But let's choose uh, free shipping. I will add the name a little bit and add uh, some specifics. Uh, for my campaign. So a free shipping for order over uh, $100. Uh, then rule type you are using uh, reduced shipping fee. Uh, then here uh, we are setting a percentage discount and we are choosing 100% discount if we want it to be free. Uh, then when we are going to conditions, we can add, add a condition here and it immediately appeared here if card sub total price is greater than $100 then uh, our customers get free shipping pretty easy then when we go to discount sections you can also see some other interesting features available here that apply to all the other free features uh, the first one is show tool uh, tip on checkout fee enable schedule usage limits which you can enable and disable at any time and now let's see how this condition applies to our store. For this, we again go back to our uh, website shop. And for this, we need to buy things that will uh, be over $100. So let's say I will buy two caps, or we can even buy one jacket, it doesn't matter. So when we buy two caps, it will be $140. And now in this card totals, we can see that here it decreases the um, shipping to free. That was it for today's video and I hope you liked it. But if you still have any questions or concerns, don't forget to leave them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.